Hey Dolly friends, it's me Holly. Welcome to my channel and today I am doing a sunny comparison review. I haven't done a lot of Rainbow High content over the last several months, but I still collect Rainbow High and I ha I'm aware of the new reboot they're doing and the changes that's happening. I'm not going to go into all of that just because it's pretty much been beaten to death on YouTube. So there's no need. But I thought I would share with you the three that I have and the fourth one that I'm adding. And my plans for her. So let's go ahead and get into the swimsuit Sunny Madison and then we can do a thorough comparison and tell you my plans for this girl because she is not going to stay this way for long. So let's take a quick look at her box before we bust into it. She has some really cute uh, artwork on the front and the back. One of the more disappointing aspects of this box art is the fact that they all have bent knees. And as we know, they no longer can bend their knees. Actually, I don't know if she can, if she has like the clicky bend, we'll find out. She has uh, instructions on how to do her little decorative thing with her swimsuit and all that goodness. Anyway, the reason why I really wanted this particular Sunny is I loved her hairstyle and it looks a little more blonde than yellow. Let's get her out and we can take a closer look. So in the box comes instructions of how to tie the wrap or sarong for the swimsuit in several different ways. It does have 10 different styles. It's kind of fun actually. There's for the head, little scarf styles. That could be really fun to play with. I'll have to try that and see how well it goes. So first we're gonna go over some of the accessories that came in this package. She has a fish purse that does, I mean, kind of open. I'm not sure what you're gonna put in there. Maybe sunblock and these really cute sunglasses which I think are just really great for her look. And I really do like her little jelly sandals. These are really, really cute. They're glittery and sparkly and they're, they're just cute. And then of course the sarong shawl thingy. Okay, so that's all the goodies she comes with, but let's take a look at her. So I was correct. Her legs will not bend or click or anything. And she does have a hip rotation so she can kind of do the partial splits and her arm will come out. And that is about it. The head can rotate as usual. I'm noticing that mine sadly has a, a lot of scuffing on her face, which is really disappointing. I'm gonna have to figure out if there's a way to get rid of that. Very sad. I do really like her eyebrows they kind of fade out or fade in i guess and her eye makeup it's okay i don't know about the purple and the green <laughs> i mean you look at the rest of the sunnies all of my sunnies have yellow glittery yellow eyeshadow every single one of them have gorgeous glittery eyeshadow so we've got this is winter break sunny this is my all-time favorite, the best sunny ever. There's no comparison. Don't even argue. <laughs> Twin Pack Sunny, she's amazing. I just gotta say, I I don't understand how MGA can go from massive A game to I don't know uh, with this body. It just, it's just so funny the the contrast. But I do love her face. And then of course, original Sunny, who is also one of my favorites. She's just darling, and she has a lot of glam glitter on her eyeshadow. I mean, that's some good eyeshadow there. And I love it. I love that sparkly, shimmery eyeshadow, which it's so funny because the new slogan is shine brighter together. Apparently though, not our eyeshadow. We're not going to have glittery eyeshadow. We're just going to have regular, boring, non-matching eyeshadow. I just don't like it. How unfortunate. Anyway, not to dwell on the negative. So in comparing them all side by side, aside from their eye makeup, of course, their eye coloring looks to be all the same and but their eyebrows are actually all different i never really noticed before i actually i think i like the swimsuit sunny's eyebrows the best as far as lip color i don't know i i think 
original Sunny's lip color does have a fun little thing to it with the white highlighting. I like the nice soft pink of the Twin Pack Sunny, but there's just something kind of fun about this red. I do kind of like the red and I do like the blushing on the swimsuit Sunny. And I just can't get over the hair. Okay, so for hair, as you can even see here, now I will give you a, a disclaimer here. I have not done anything with Twin Pack Sunny's hair. I, I know it's just it's just a crunchy mess. That is obviously points against her, but I know if I were to wash it all out, it wouldn't hold its shape. And so now she's just gonna be cute. But anyway, so there's that hair and then original Sunny's hair, all pretty much the same yellow. And then you bring in this girl and it is just a hint lighter. In the camera, it actually looks even more blonde, but in person, it's not that different. But, well, you know, it really is. It's just kind of a lighter, butterier color. But buttery, butterier. <laughs> and it doesn't have really any product. The bangs have product here. The bangs, especially these straight parts. I just think it's so cute. It's just such a different look. And she has kind of a a choppy layering which some might say oh it's choppy and messy but i kind of think that's the beach vibe they're going for the choppy and messy i don't know that there's really any other major comparisons other than of course the uh, fact that there's no articulation eyeshadow is different the face molds are obviously a little different for each one um, the original sunny though this is a newer release original sunny so her face isn't quite as fish faced as the very first releases but it is a little more narrow in the cheek and the jawline versus this girl she does have a little more of a rounder face oh she's just so darling and the winter break sunny you know she was the first sunny i bought because i really liked her outfit but her face mold is definitely my least favorite i do not care for it and then we have this girl i kind of think she's probably most like twin pack sunny it's just the makeup it looks very different. Anyway, so my plans. Let's get into my plans here. What I have planned for this girl. I don't like the body, obviously. I don't want the body, it's dead to me, but I want the head and the hair. So unfortunately, this is some sad news for my winter break Sunny, who is not really my favorite in the face and all that. Her hair is nice, but she's just kind of not my favorite. So my sweet daughter, Emma, has offered to do a head swap for me and we will put the beach Sunny's head on my winter break Sunny's body. That's what's going to happen. I guess before I do that, I might try some of the sarong things. Stay tuned. Well, I decided to get her all decked out in everything from her shoes to her sarong, glasses, and purse. And I will say that I guess my finger dexterity is not as nimble as a six-year-old's because I struggle to do the sarong in very many ways. <laughs> so I just tied it up on the top there. Another thing to note that I forgot to mention is they do not come with stands. So that's unfortunate. I, I will say from a child's perspective and even a parent's perspective, if my daughter, young daughter, were to have a doll with a swimsuit obviously is going to go swimming and bathtubs, pools, ponds, whatever. Having no joints is going to be helpful for drying. You're not going to get water and things inside the jointing that is later going to leak out or mold. And so from that perspective, I can see it being beneficial to have as little joints as possible to minimize that moldy, musty water vibe. Anyway, all that to be said, my Sunny is not going to be going swimming. She's going to be swapping heads. And yeah, I will be back later when that happens and show you guys how they look. I might even, I am tempted to try to do a little bit of eyeshadow on her because I'm just not liking that purple. Anyway, I'll stop dwelling on it. Let's get over it, Holly. <laughs> I don't know. She does look a little goofy, but hey, she's going to go play at the beach. All right, well, stay tuned and I will be back. Well, I'm back after a few weeks, actually, since I decided to swap heads. Emma got them swapped for me right away, but we're here now with Swimsuit Sunny on the winter break Sunny's body. 
and then we move winter break Sunny's head onto swimsuit body, which I'll point out that the swimsuit body is standing on her own, which is kind of nice. And as you'll notice, this Sunny is wearing Delilah's pants and shoes and components of, I think, different Sunny outfits. This might actually be from the closet. I don't remember. I wanted to, there's a couple things I wanna do. I bought this glitter, which is aptly named Sunny Yellow. And I am hoping to add the glitter, it's a very fine glitter, just a tiny bit to this Sunny's eye makeup. As I pointed out multiple times, <laughs> my displeasure, disappointment, disdain, any dis you can think of uh, about her eye makeup being so different than pretty much any other Sunny that I have or have seen. And I want her to be consistent with the others. Now this Sunny, nope, she has glitter as well. So I think actually I'll have to say that head looks really good in the swimsuit. Uh, I feel like this is the hair, the beach hair that someone would have if they're going out to the beach or the pool. Not, not that. I mean, I don't know. I guess if you're going to just look cute and not actually do any swimming, you would show up like that, which I guess people do that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and my plan is to brush some just Elmer's glue because with the Elmer's glue, it's easy to remove if I make a mistake. But my plan is to just brush it along her brow line underneath the lashes trying to keep that purple line just a bit. I think that could be fun. And then sprinkling the glitter on. And I've not really, I've never done this. So I have no idea how it's gonna look. It's gonna ruin it. I suppose if I do, she's like $14.99, I could get another one or just wash it off because it's washable glue. Now, the other thing I wanna do, while I was in between swapping heads and now, I happened upon actually a lot of fashion packs. They were on sale at my Walmart for $5. But in this particular video, I am just going to be using components from Sunny's fashion pack. See, she's on the back, this is meant for her. And I felt like some of the aspects of this particular outfit I want to put on to beach winter break, maybe I'll call her beach break, Sunny. I'll put on maybe the socks, the skates, and the pants. And I might put the headphones on Twin Pack Sunny. Anyway, I will open this in a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be doing this first and then I'll do the glitter because if I decide to use any of these pieces on this girl, I don't want to disturb her makeup. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this, get it on some different Sunny bodies, and then do some eye makeup. I you know I made a note of this in a short that I did with another outfit, but these back cards pop off and I think it's a really great, whether it's a bookmark or you can use it for room art, whatever you want. I just love that they make this removable to kind of keep. So that's kind of neat. All right, now for more unboxing. All right, I got everything unboxed. Let's take a look here at the headphones first. They have an RH on each side, although the RH on this side is very, very hard to see. And then the backpack is like a plastic, but it has kind of a textured fabric look. It's a soft pink and blue. It does open and then it has like a little press closure snap type thing. And the socks. Now, there were so many of these little tiny plastic things that trying to remove them, oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed. I actually cut a hole in the sock trying to get the stupid little things out. Anyway, moving on, here are the skates, which are just adorable. They're totally sunny style with a rainbow. They have little wheels, RH on the bottom for the little stopper. They have kind of that high top look, kind of that 80s vibe, which is super fun. For the outfit, we have the terry cloth shorts, which is also kind of very, very 80s style. They're kind of nice, little stretchy, little details. And then the shirt is so cute. So it's kind of this gradient rainbow look, but then the elbows each have a little faux leather patch. That's so cute. Well, we have got everybody dressed. I even got the gold makeup put on. I went ahead and decided to put Winter Break Swimsuit Sunny in the full skating outfit over her swimsuit because I just felt like it really fit her look. The hair back with no bangs, the headphones look great, and the skates help her stand on her own again. Backpack works pretty well. I mean, it's small, but I guess it's like a purse backpack. I think it works really well for her. I know it's funny to give my now cheap doll the newest outfit. It's cute, but let's move on to the main attraction here, which is this girl. I think she's stunning. So I changed her shirt. 
I decided to give her the little sarong as a, a side tied kind of a high low type shirt went well with the pants and I gave her the gold shimmery sandals that came with her. Then I went ahead and did her eyes. They look amazing. So what I wound up doing with them is, was actually way more simple than uh, I had initially planned. I have these like glitter markers, craze art. And as far as like the durability, how long they last, washability, I really don't know. I can't guarantee they're gonna last forever on her face. But for now, I think it's fine. I used a really fine nail polish manicure brush from a little brush set that I have, and that worked great. I think this look is super, super beautiful. The hair is definitely cheaper. As I was holding it back to paint her face, it was just kind of like flaking everywhere. Not like the hair wasn't flaking, but there's a flaky product in it. And I just don't recall the other doll's hair flaking like that. Anyway, let's get them all lined up so you can see the final lineup of my lovely sunny ladies. But getting that gold on there, like she really needed, really just completes the look. And she just, she's owning it. I love it. She's probably my top number two now, obviously. Maybe I have it in order. This is pretty much in order. From here, favorite, second favorite. I don't know, she's a favorite too. And then second string girl here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Which one's your favorite? Have you done any head swapping or eye swapping? Emma did this for me, the head swapping. I have not had the time to do it. So that was a big shout out to Emma for helping me with that. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! As I was putting my lovely sunnies away, I decided to get some earrings for my swimsuit girl. And I think they look great. I also got her a bracelet. I wanted to get her a necklace, but honestly, I couldn't find any. I, I mean, my doll display is not fabulous by any sense. It's kind of, kind of a mess. They're all kind of up here. This row in particular is very, very sad. Literally behind all of that stuff is Rainbow High Dolls, guys. It's pathetic. They're all beautiful and back there, can you even see them? Look at, look at their pretty faces. I'm a terrible dolly mama. Anyway, I imagine there's some beautiful gold back there that I just totally, oh, hey, there's a necklace. Maybe Simone won't miss it. Okay, bye. <laughs>